Hello. What you heard there was the very first time a chromatic scale from G to G in that octave was played on a bassoon with a high G key. Um, this is something I have been working quite a lot on uh, lately and as you maybe have seen in my latest videos I have been drilling some tone holes into a test wing joint that Musma let me borrow. Uh, the goal with that was to of course hopefully one day actually add more keys to the wing joint here making it possible to play higher in the register. Uh, the conclusion from those two videos was that the high A was not really good, high G sharp was very questionable but the G actually worked out very well. So long story short, here it is. It works now, it is installed. And um, yeah, as you can see, it is quite far up on the wing joint, but uh, that's exactly where the intonation fits the best. Uh, it's in tune up there. Uh, personally, I'm very happy with the end result. It was thanks to uh, Musman who installed uh, the key work here and uh, uh, some of his amazing uh, workers in the factory there. Um, so let me show you a little bit how this works and why it is the way it is on my bassoon. So first of all, here are the keys that you press down. The only key that has been added is this little thing here, of course, with a beautiful little roller. Uh, so how to play up to G then? Yeah, you would do as I would normally do on my bassoon, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G. Then you can play the chromatical steps there very easily. Uh, it was also a thought to maybe have the G on the top here, but then you would need to go, if you want to play chromatic, F sharp, G. That is weird. Uh, it could easily break a legato or, you know, to just slide up there. Not a good idea. So in my opinion, the most idiomatic solution technically was to have it here. Another thing worth noticing is on my bassoon, there are two rods here. One going here and one going here. Uh, the one going here is for E flat, E and F sharp. The one going here is for F and G. Uh, why on earth? <laughs> the reason why is quite simple, because when I bought this bassoon, it came with completely standard key work. It had a high E and that's it. Later on, uh, or actually when we bought it, we asked for the extra F. So that was made there and then. Some years later, the high F sharp was sort of invented. And then several years after that, well, actually a few days ago, the G was invented as well. Uh, in other words, yeah, my bassoon, it was not made for this purpose because those things, they didn't even exist. So this is a bit of a compromise currently to make it work out. Uh, so if <clears throat> someone who are interested in this kind of stuff uh, are buying a new bassoon by Musman, how it would look uh, technically is less complicated. So it could look something like this. And here you see a brand new bassoon made by Musman. And this bassoon, as you can see, it only has the key work up to a high F, but all of that is on one rod, right? Not two. And if you would then ask, for example, for yeah, F sharp and G in the future on that bassoon, then everything would be on the same rod. It would be quite clean. Uh, you would remove a little bit of maybe weight from the bassoon, you would uh, remove some costs from silver and stuff like that, uh, and it maybe looks a bit cleaner. <clears throat> so that is just something to keep in mind, and that is why my bassoon looks the way it does. But personally, <clears throat> I'm actually very happy with how it looks. I think it worked out very well. And as you could also hear in the beginning of the video, it's easy to play chromatically up there. The note itself speaks quite easily, and uh, yeah, I am very happy with how it actually worked out. Just to add, this kind of modern look with one rod instead of two could actually have been done on my bassoon as well. But then what you would need to do is basically to remove this and install the new system. Uh, if I would do that, then that means I would also need to fill up um, the holes in the wood here where the posts currently are. And I would need them to drill new holes into the wood for the new posts for the new uh, rod. Personally, I was not really interested in drilling more into the wood than necessary. Uh, I would actually like to keep as much of the original here as possible. So that is why I, I didn't want to do that. But for people who, who do want to do that, please know it is absolutely possible to do. Another important thing is, of course, what happens to the sound and the intonation of the instrument when you drill a new tone hole here and make the high G on your bassoon. Does something change? So 
for me personally, everything is the same as I'm used to. Uh, it didn't really change anything, either positively or negatively. It's exactly the same. So in other words, I would not really be worried uh, about doing this operation here, uh, as I did show and also demonstrated in another video where I was drilling a tone hole all the way up to A. In that video, you can start to hear that things are changing sound-wise and intonation-wise. That is why I would recommend to stop on the G. Don't go anything higher than that. With G, everything is fine, everything works. Don't push it further. That is the conclusion of this. In the very end, I would just like to say thank you so much, especially to Bernd Mosman, who let me borrow that wing joint that I could experiment on, where I could drill some tone holes and stuff like that. It eventually resulted in the high G key, uh, which is then actually solving several challenging technical phrases up in this register. For example, Ligeti Wireling Concerto. Uh, also, a big, big thank you to everyone at Mosman's factory who worked on this. It would not have been possible without all of you guys. Big thank you for that. Also a big thank you to everyone who has followed me here on Facebook and YouTube, following the project, asking questions and uh, supporting. Very, very thankful. It was a success in the end. So now <clears throat> I think it's time for me to start to practice a little bit high Gs and get used to the new key here. So until next time.